نحمده و نسلی علی رسوله الكریم اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایتہ النفس المطمئنہ ارجی الہ ربی کی رازیتم مرزیہ فدخلی فی عبادی ودخلی جنتی صدق اللہ العظیم ربی شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و اہل لکتتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی The topic for today's conversation is after a question. The question is asked, what is the reality of spirit, ruh? What is the reality of spirit, ruh? It is a very difficult topic and very hard to answer on it because we have very limited knowledge on it. But the verses that are recited in front of you are from Surah Al-Fajr, chapter number 89 of the Holy Quran, verse number 27 to 30. In this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned about the satisfied self. Ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutma'inna. This is the this is we are talking about when the person is leaving this world when the angel of death comes to any human and ask that the self of the human that is the composition that is the composition of a divine spirit animal spirit and clay so when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. He mentioned to the angels that I am about to create a caliph for earth. I am about to create my viceroy on earth. When I will fix his condition, I will finish the creation with the clay and blow my spirit. Blow my spirit in that Adam, then you all prostrate to Adam. So all of you prostrate to Adam when I blow my spirit in it. So as you all know, it is mentioned in the Holy Quran, at least seven places, the story of Adam and devil, you know, with every Adam, there's a devil created. So the story of Adam and devil is mentioned seven times in the Holy Quran. So it is such an important topic, but we will do a separate discussion on that. Right now, coming back to the spirit. So the reason for prostration for us that the divine spirit of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was blown into us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers it to as ruhi, like my spirit. So who, what is a human being? You know, if you look at Imam Ghazali, you know, he mentions that every human is a composition of four things. Every human has a, a devil that try to convince the human to do bad things. Every human has an angel with it that is trying to convince good things by the human and then the third thing is nafs that is that means self and the fourth thing is the guidance from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so these so many activities that we are hap that's happening today in our physical body there's a lot of spiritual activities also going through because human being, the difference between an animal and human is the difference of divine spirit. Every animal is also created the way we are created. They also need to eat, drink, have sex, 
you know they also have children they also have worries of food but they are guaranteed by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are satisfied with that so they are the composition of the normal thing plus animal spirit in addition to that the human being has a divine spirit when a baby in mother's belly reaches 120 days you know till 120 days we are like animals you know we are a living creation the 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 filthy drop of water that goes from a from a male to a female and it grows for 40 days in one condition and then another 40 days then another 40 days total of 120 days when it grows in a mother belly at that time an angel come an angel come from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and blows the spirit of divine spirit that was created by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the universe of spirits before the creation of this earth before anything you know that was created allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in alam -e arwa when he created angels with nur and he created the divine spirits of all the humans who will come in this world from prophet adam peace be upon him till the last person will come before the day of judgment so the spirits of all the humans the divine spirits of all the humans were created far far back in the history and we have very little knowledge about that but it is mentioned in the holy quran that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took an oath from the divine spirits of all of us alastu bi rabbikum kalu bala am i not your lord and we all said why not so on the day of judgment when it will be questioned that somebody will say i had no knowledge i was ignorant nobody told me about it you know so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remind you regarding that oath that all the spirits took before coming to this universe they were in the universe of spirits alame arwa all the spirits took an oath so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on day of judgment he will remind you about that oath that you all come to me the same way as you came to me initially you know all of us will be present in front of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment with our this human body and with our animal spirit and our divine spirit so we we all will be available in front of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we will remember everything that happened in this universe and the universe of spirits as well and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give reward to the people who who were the obedient servants of the lord they will all go to paradise and all the disobedient servants of the lord will go to hellfire so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned this to all of us through 124000 messengers through over 300 scriptures that came on this earth through different messengers but the message was always the same that you have you have to worship only one god la ilaha illallah there is no god but allah so there is no god but one god so that message was given to prophet adam peace be upon him till all the messengers and the last and final messenger prophet muhammad peace be upon him said the same thing la ilaha illallah also it is mentioned in the holy quran wa ilahukum ilahun wahid you know, your lord is the only one lord and he is the only worthy of worship you know all this that is created by humans today that you know i am i am from this religion i am from that religion this is not allah's division this is the division of the humans because we follow the commandments of devil 
we don't follow the 10 commandments that were given to prophet moses peace be upon him we don't follow the book of david that was given to prophet david peace be upon him zabur we don't follow injil bible of prophet jesus christ peace be upon him we don't follow the book of holy quran that was revealed on prophet muhammad peace be upon him we follow the teachings of the scholars of pandits of sheikhs who tell us that this is your religion why we don't have time to read about our own religion which is so important this life is only for maximum 100 years or 120 according to some people but what about the life that is eternal the life that is multi multi trillion years never ending infinity you know because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that this world is just an examination center so we should be ready for that exam but we have been misguided by devil and the supporters of devil so coming back to our topic of spirit spirit is the divine spirit the normal animal spirit is in a goat also in a dog also in a cat also they also die you know and then their body decay into the soil and the animal spirit is gone you know when the humans die they, their body also decay in the grave the human body decays in the grave but the divine spirit the connection of that divine spirit always stays after this world we go to alam barzakh you know that is like you can say it is a parking place for all the spirits so before this universe we were in the universe of spirits we were waiting to come in this world to give our exam and then we will go to permanent paradise and and if we do bad deeds we if we perform bad in the exam we will go in permanent hellfire now from going out from this world if the spirit the divine spirit act according to the guidance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the angels come to you when they come and they ask that o self ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutmainna o satisfied self o pleased self o tranquil self irji ila rabbiki let's go back to your lord raziyatam marziya he is pleased from you and you are pleased from him fadkhuli fi ibadi let's enter to my perfect servants fadkhuli fi ibadi let's enter to the team or group or area for my perfect servants wadkhuli jannati and enter into my paradise so that is a gift that is given to a satisfied soul the soul who has acted in this world according to teachings and guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutma'inna irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan mardiyya fadkhuli fi ibadi wa dkhuli jannati بكت عيني بكت عيني بكت عيني على ذنبي وما لاقيت من كربي فيا ذلي ويا خجلي إذا ما قال لي ربي أما استحييته تعصيني ولا